2015 was a great year. Um, the weather was a challenge. You know, of course, we had Typhoon Dolphin early in the year, and that uh, was a huge challenge for us as farmers, um, as well as the rest of the farmers of the island. Um, that really, that was probably the biggest challenge we faced in 2015, um, and that really kind of, um, it, it, it really forced us to, to figure out how we're going to get things done. Despite those challenges from Mother Nature, nonprofit Farm to Table Guam Executive Director Melanie Mignola says 2015 was a great year for their CSA project. Some of the great things that happened, of course, was we launched our CSA, our um, Community Supported Agriculture Subscription, and that, of course, um, for those who are una unaware, um, for those who don't know what they are, it's um, it's a box of vegetables, um, it's, a, it's a crate of 10 to 15 different varieties of fruits, vegetables, herbs, um, and, things, and things like that. Um, and those come from our farm in Mi'ilau as well as your, our partner farmers. Right now we have about 35 partner farmers, um, so I think that that's a great success. Mandiola says that they had about 50 CSA subscribers, and with the success they had with the project, Farm to Table is continuing it this year. We're continuing to offer it on a, on a, on a limited basis, so normally what happens is um, you go to our website, uh, www.farmtotableguam.org, and um, you click on CSA and you fill out the application, you submit it, and then you get accepted. Um, we still have spaces available. It's $200 a month, so it's about $50 a week, um, averages out to. The retail value of the box generally exceeds that every week, and it, sometimes it exceeds it by quite a bit, just depending on what's in season. Um, and uh, m m more than anything, the feedback from customers has been very, very good. A lot of the feedback is, oh, it's too much stuff. And so, so that's something we're really looking at in 2016, whether or not we want to um, offer a, another option, maybe a maybe a different pickup location, maybe uh, a box that's raw for uh, people who like just you know to juice salads and uh, juices salads and smoothies. We, we don't know. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of different ways that it can go. So 2016 should be an exciting year for the CSA. If you would like to know more about the organization or to sign up for the CSA, you can head on over to farmtotableguam.org or give them a call today at six four seven zero one zero zero. With this week's Local Harvest, I'm Jonathan Charfris.